The state of Oklahoma offers a variety of financial incentives to attract new business, from tax credits to property tax exemptions, even sales tax refunds for qualifying companies. But at the Mid-America Industrial Park in Northeast Oklahoma, a new approach is being taken to make businesses want to settle there. It all has to do with education. Mid-America is one of the nation's largest industrial parks. The flat terrain makes it hard to see just how expansive it is. It encompasses 10,000 acres and is home to 80 companies. Some are small, others are Fortune 500 companies like DuPont, Orchid Paper, and Google. On any given day, there's uh, 100 vacancies in this park for jobs. And so the Mid-American Industrial Park really wants quality, educated, trained workforce. Dr. Larry Rice is the president of Rogers State University. While the main campus is in Claremore, its newest facility is right in the middle of the Mid-America Industrial Park. Construction of the satellite campus began in May of 2012 and was just completed and dedicated. A standing room only crowd of community and business leaders attended the ribbon cutting ceremony. The two-story building sits on 71 acres. It has a library complete with a fireplace, a cafe, an auditorium, a bookstore, and classrooms equipped with state-of-the-art equipment. The new campus was made possible thanks to a $10 million investment made by the Oklahoma Ordnance Works Authority, which is the public trust that manages the industrial park. And the fact that this is a $10 million gift this building and land is the largest single gift in Roger State University's history. So it's a game changer because we're, Google's excited. Google's right down the road. They're excited we're in the park. Uh, the Cherokee Nation's excited for what we're going to do outside the park in, in rural Oklahoma when you go east of here into some of the schools that have a high uh, Cherokee uh, population. David Stewart is the chief administrative officer for the Mid-America Industrial Park. He says while the park is ideal for business because of its location and infrastructure, the most critical factor most companies look for when deciding where to locate is human capital. So what we find is that when companies look to expand or move, relocate, they look at all of the brick and mortar that is around, but then they look at the employee base and they find out where are we going to find employees. And so this is a first step of a process to make us different and unique in how we approach economic development and attracting business and jobs. We want to get the people trained, our high school kids to get, stay here, have their families live here, and then we want them to have a job. This new campus replaces the old one located in Pryor, which was much smaller, older, and less visible. It's hoped the new building will attract new students and non-traditional ones who may already have jobs at one of the businesses in the industrial park. A $40,000 grant from Google supports the technological backbone for the facility. Classrooms and meeting rooms feature multimedia communication systems that allow instructors, students, and community users access to high-definition audio and video, as well as remote conferencing technology. So students can listen to lectures at the Claremore or Bartlesville campus. Student Mackenzie Coleman is enthused to have a state-of-the-art college so close to home. I thought, why not save money and stay at home and go to a smaller college and get, com get comfortable with like the college routine instead of going to a school that I would have 200 in a class instead of 20, and I, I just like the small school better. Student Amanda Grossman's father and brother work at Mid-America. She too likes to stay close to home. This is my first semester that I'm really starting my nursing and I'm taking my first science class. And so with the new campus and the new labs, I'm really excited for all the new equipment. I'm just ready to get in there. I'm, I'm gonna be the first one to get to use it, you know? It'll be the first semester of students that gets to use the new labs. And um, I'm really looking forward to it, you know? New semester, new year, everything. There are about 350 students enrolled for the first semester here, but there is the capacity to expand to 1,000 at some time in the future. 
RSU joins two other higher ed facilities at the Mid-America Industrial Park, Oklahoma State University Institute of Technology and Northeastern Technology Center. But we're all going to be a part of this partnership of providing a quality workforce uh, for this park. This park, this model of having higher education, public education, technical education is probably unique to the United States and so it's going to be a game changer. It's hoped the partnerships will not only build commerce but sustain and grow this rural community. People to jobs and jobs to people and so that combination is something that's very unique. There are very few opportunities where we have businesses that we know about, we have access to and then we have educational institutions that we have access to we're going to be the catalyst or kind of the missing link that marries those two to make us kind of a seamless um, way to live and, and stay here.